Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here. And in this video, I've got an exciting treat for a lot of my lizards. So in this video guys, I'm going to be feeding out an absolute stack of black soldier fly larvae and to kind of cut a long story short, both of my brothers who live a little bit down south from me, a few hours, they both actually work at a bio farm that use black soldier fly larvae to essentially process human grade waste from big supply chains such as uh, Bulwurves and coals and algae and things so when they get kind of fruit and vegetables that are going a bit south and other types of uh, you know processable food waste they essentially put them into these big machines where these little larvae these black soldier fly larvae eat that waste and then you can kind of recycle any leftover packaging and things out of it and kind of clean up the environment essentially and I've just recently had my son's first birthday so the boys actually came up and um, you know, said good day, and you know, we had a birthday party and stuff for my son. And my brothers turned around and they're like, "Do you want any of these maggots for your, for your lizards?" I was like, "Yeah, of course I do. I'm not going to be silly and say no to such a great offer like that." And I was like, "You know, if you could bring me a couple of hundred grams or something like that, that would be awesome. You know, thanks so much." They didn't just do that. They turned up with a hessian sack with one and a half kilos of maggots in it. Fly larvae, black soldier fly larvae, and for anybody that you know you know, your reptiles and stuff like that. These are one of the most nutritious insects you can actually feed your reptiles. They're so rich in all sorts of nutrients and lots of calcium and things like that. So I'm super stoked to be able to go and give these guys out to a lot of my animals. I know my bearded dragon, Sonic, has been trying to get to these things for about an hour now, and he's about to have a good feast, and so's, so's Billy the Frilly. Uh, the Boyd's Forest Dragons are gonna go nuts for these as well. I am gonna offer them to a lot of the smaller you know, lizards and things like that as well. Whether they take them or not, that's entirely up to them. But we're basically gonna film the process, see what we can do with this gigantic, I'll see if I can get this down here, gigantic tub of black soldier fly larvae. Have an absolute go at this. These guys are in their prime too. They're, you know, that perfect kind of color. They're not, not ready to kind of turn off into a fly or anything yet. The beauty to these guys too is when they do turn into a fly, so if any of them do kind of get out in the enclosures and things like that, the flies can be eaten themselves. But not only that, they're completely harmless. They're not about to go and take over your house or anything like that. They're not annoying. They kind of look like a little bit of a stingless wasp type thing. But yeah, they're, they're very easy to deal with. So yeah, I'm basically gonna to try to use as many of these over the next few days just to kind of fatten up a few critters, give them a good feed. Um, you've got to be a little bit conscious about these guys too. You don't want to overfeed them to your lizards because sometimes your lizards might not be able to digest them too quick. So you've got to be a little bit cautious with that to not try to give them like a monster bowl of them, for example. Definitely going to give some lizards some great feeds here today. So these guys are already moving down the, down the perches. <laughs> oh, there goes Billy. <laughs> Where are you, mate? Oh, he's ready. So I've just got a bunch of these kind of PVC end caps from like storm pipe drains and stuff like that that I quite often use as just kind of like cheap bowls to use for things, whether it be water or different food and stuff like that. So we're just going to use these to dish out a few of these. I do have like a few ceramic bowls and things kicking around as well. Basically to feed these things out, you just want something that's a nice dry bowl and kind of steep sided. You don't want it to be like, you know, kind of like an exoterra bowl where there's like a little ramp for them to get out because they're just going to walk on out of there. So anyway, let's set this thing up. I think uh, Sonic's telling me he's definitely ready for a feed, so let's do that for him. It is really, really warm here in Sydney today, so that's another reason why I'm just taking use of the opportunity to, to give these guys a good feed, because they're, uh, they're pretty hot and hungry. So my brothers did kind of package it in a bit of this kind of dust and stuff that I don't particularly want to try to get into my reptiles, so I'm just going to actually use this clean, clean sand sieve to kind of just get a good chunk of that dust out so we're kind of just getting more of a clean product it's not going to harm the animals in any way 
you know, a lot of the time when you get the black soldier fly larvae, they do kind of come packaged like this. So, you know, it's not going to harm them, but at the same time, if I can kind of just reduce that, and that'll be fine. Oh, that's probably going to be a monster feed for him. Might even just take a few out just to be a little bit on the light side. Sorry, Sonic. But yeah, I'm basically going to go through and sift all of this stuff out just so I can kind of give a cleaner end product to the actual reptiles themselves. Oh, you're so keen, aren't you, bud? There's a few things we've got to clean up around here as well. I have to fill up a few water bowls. Once the weather starts getting a little warmer, it's just go time, isn't it, mate? There you go. Loving it. It's a good little feed for you. While he's doing that, I'm just going to keep filling up these bowls. We'll keep dishing these guys out to some of these reptiles. All right, Billy, let's take one of these little shallow dishes here, shall we? And give you an option to have some. Well, what's that, mate? <laughs> it's definitely something you don't get every day, is it? I'll give you a nice full tummy. I have offered some to Acorn. Acorn tends to be a bit of a finicky feeder. He definitely prefers his veggies and stuff like that. But uh, I thought I'd just put a little shallow dish of them in there for him. And if he decides to come back to them, he might. He is a bit of a shy lizard at times. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see whether he actually decides he's gonna eat any of those or not. As I said, I am actually gonna try some out on these, these little monitors and see whether or not they actually take a fancy to them. I have put a little bowl in here just to see whether or not they're actually gonna decide to take some. It what? Hang on. Are you already asking for more? You've still got some, mate. I can't give you the whole box. God, this lizard. He just would not stop eating if you gave him half a chance. Okay, we're gonna try some of these guys out on the younger gill and I, some of the younger gill and I. I'm just gonna put this little, little container in here. We'll see whether or not they pick it up. My glass is a little bit dirty because they keep running against it. You're just gonna push the bowl around instead. What's inside of it? They're definitely intrigued. Then he runs away. This is a different Gil and I coming down now. Nope. <laughs> Little rat bags, they just want to get out instead. Well, as I said, it can be hit and miss with some monitors and stuff. So, you know, I'm not 100% expecting the monitors to get into this. I'm thinking more like the dragons, the cunning hams, potentially the, um, the depressor, I reckon they might get into it a little bit because they're not super fussy in my experience and they just love food. Uh, but the goannas might be a little bit different. So not entirely shocked by that, but you know, thought I'd give them the option at the end of the day because you yeah, know, that's what it's all about. It's all about variety and it's all about options. So that being said, I've got a couple little tiny bowls here that we're gonna offer the depressor. I don't think I'm gonna offer these, or I might offer them to the Hatchy Tristus, but I'm just gonna put a couple in a bowl and just see what happens there because I don't really want to pump such tiny lizards with them but I might just kind of put like enough for for two each there sort of thing put this little bowl in this little depressor just kind of she shot off over the rock there but she was down looking pretty keen so I reckon if we kind of just pop back maybe go feed the one up the top because this one's a bit of a newer lizard she might come down she might be keen although I reckon she can see that from there I can definitely see a little face looking at it. What about you, Oaks? You gonna come down and have a bit of a bit of a peruse through some maggot food? This little gill and I is checking it out. I mean, all the gill and I are interested in it, but they just don't seem to want to commit. This little depressor is coming down now to check it out as well. What? What? Oh, he just took a bite, but he didn't didn't kind of commit it. It's interesting though. It's not as easy walking through spinifex as it looks. I'm pretty sure the Agonia are going to go for it. And I'm pretty sure Oakley's coming down. I'm getting a little bit more excited about it as well. So it's just going to be interesting to see what actually happens with these, these lizards. I really desperately need to give these guys a bit of a sand sift as well. Next on the chore list, hey? This little spiky nugget does look pretty keen though. 
I'm not going to be surprised if he comes down and starts feeding without me even catching it on film, but we'll just see how we go, hey? What do you reckon, Mrs. Wiggles? Are you potentially going to get into it? Yeah, it's funny, like the monitors and the, the little skinks and stuff like that seem to be not quite as interested, but you give this to a dragon and they go absolutely bonkers. So it'll be interesting to see what's uh, what's going to happen here. Look, like the, the I'd, I'd think that the movement and stuff like that would be interesting to the monitors. The smell's definitely intriguing them. It's just something that's putting them off. So curious though, aren't you? Still very curious. Oh, Oakley's gotten straight into it. Look at that, there's a tasty bug in his mouth right there. He's not holding back anymore, he's going, this is bloody delicious. Get a few more of these into me. So there you go, there's one small skink that's uh, that's into it. The monitors are yet to commit. I'm yet to see the depressor actually hook into some of these as well. I'm still gonna try them on the, the baby Tristus. I'm just gonna put a couple in their cage. I actually think with the Tristus though, they're more likely to go for them when they turn into a fly. So I think they're more likely to be intrigued by the buzzing around and you know trying to catch them and stuff like that. So regardless of whether the monitors are actually eating them now or not, I think I'm just gonna hatch them into flies in the tank. And then from there, they can actually, you know, chase them around. So I reckon that's gonna be a little bit more enriching for them rather than just kind of like a little, little wiggling maggot like this. But I still think some of the skinks, the smaller skinks and stuff like that will get into them. And I'm definitely going to give them to the Boyds and also to the Cunninghams and stuff outside. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully I've got Black Soldier Fly for a few days now. And then, uh, <laughs> well, maybe a few weeks at this rate until they uh, obviously all hatch out and stuff. But I'll definitely be giving the Dragons a good solid feed on them. Going to see if these Gil and I actually want to partake at all. Randy, the big guy there, he's not shy of eating most foods. So it'll be interesting to see whether he takes it or not. Not that he really needs it, but it's more of an interest sake. But yeah, I've just popped a little... Little tiny bowl down here, just in case they get interested in it. The Tristers have barely been coming out of their logs for any reason at the moment, so I'm not 100% certain if they're going to be keen or not, but I have put a tiny bowl in with them just to see if they end up taking it throughout the day or so. But yeah, it's just been interesting to kind of see who's been taking it, who hasn't been. You know, Oakley was definitely keen, so that was cool to see. I'm actually genuinely surprised about the depressor at the moment. I feel like maybe them, if they've just got a chance to kind of watch them a little bit longer or something like that, they might come down and, and check them out. I thought she was super keen. Well, the little lizards have been definitely underwhelming, but as I said, this is a food source that they don't often get, so I'm not 100% surprised that they haven't been taking onto it. It's something that I wanted to offer them anyway, just to see if they wanted something, because at the end of the day, variety in the diet definitely isn't going to hurt anybody. And, you know, they are going to choose and pick what they want and what they don't want. I am going to go and feed the boys now, because we know that they're not going to be picky. And I will make up a tray as well for the Blue Tongue Outdoors and the Cunninghams. I reckon the Cunninghams is going to get into this, because... He tends to be a bit of a pig. So yeah, we'll just see what happens at the end of the day. And um, I'll just try to catch some B-roll along the way and see who's eating it and who's not. And we'll go from there. So they definitely know something's up. Got these two over here. <laughs> I'm gonna get this delicious snack in there for them. Let's see how long it takes for them to jump down and start partaking. Oop, got nails onto it. There's the female. It's definitely a dragon dream with these little, these little guys, these black soldier fly larvae, they absolutely hook into them.
unfortunately missed it, but little Acorn was just hooking into a few of them while he was there. And uh, I also just kind of startled the depressor, both of them. They were having little nibbles as well. So you can see this depressor is like emptied the bowl. Oh, there's one there, a couple there, but there was like a good six or seven little bugs in there. This one's got a couple less, so, you know, there's that. And Oakley, well, Oakley's definitely had a few. There's a few more there for him to go, so that's pretty cool to see at least. I really hope Acorn gets into him. Because that'd be a really cool little feed, nice and easy for a shingle bat to grab onto. But yeah, he gets a bit shy around me, so I might have might have disturbed that feeding. <laughs> Alright, we'll give these guys a go on them as well. Let's see if they're keen. Well, there you go guys, just a little short video just showing some of the animals enjoying some of these black soldier fly larvae. I mean, it is still the middle of winter, so I'm not expecting them to all just absolutely pump these things. In particular, as I said many a times, the little tiny skinks and some of the, well, the monitors in general, they can be a little bit hit and miss as well. So, you know, it was to be expected. The dragons really got into it and such. All in all, good fun. I'm probably gonna find a bunch of reptile mates to go and give a whole bunch of these black soldier fly larvae to because there's no way that I'm going through a kilo and a half of this. Uh, but guys, as always, if you did enjoy the videos, make sure to go and give the video a like. Give it a little comment down below as well. That's always gonna help the YouTube algorithm just put me up there a little bit. And if you did wanna support the channel even further, you can go and check me out over on Teespring. Get yourself some merch, some Beach to Scaly Beach merch. And if you did want to go that one step further, you can check out Patreon as well and get early access videos. And depending on your tier, you can also go and get some extra content. Alrighty guys, that's it from me. Until next time, take it easy and I'll catch you then.